This is Bobby Miller, and why not have a Dodgers prospect start our day? He's got a 100-plus mile an hour fastball, a plus-plus sweeping slider, a dirty changeup, and a bender of a curveball. If you play MLB The Show 2022, or if you're a Dodgers fan, then you know the name Bobby Miller. And likely, every baseball fan will know who he is by the end of this next season. So, who is he and where did he come from? Bobby Miller grew up in McHenry, Illinois, a little over an hour northwest of Chicago. Growing up, Bobby is said to have been a big fan of Javier Baez and Clayton Kershaw. He both pitched and played first base, and yes, he's a left-handed hitter. And heading into his senior year of high school, he was 6'5", 190, touching 94 miles an hour with his fastball, the number four overall baseball player in Illinois, and the number two overall right-handed pitcher. After his senior year in high school, he was selected by the Baltimore Orioles in the 38th round of the 2017 MLB Draft, but he decided to enroll at the University of Louisville. Over his three years at Louisville, from 2018 to 2020, he would go on to make 25 total starts out of 41 appearances, pitching to a 3.28 ERA with 175 strikeouts over 170 innings over those three years. It's worth noting that the 2020 season was cut short due to COVID, and he only pitched in four games that year before entering the 2020 MLB draft. However, in those four starts, he pitched to a 2.31 ERA, striking out 34 batters over 23 and a third innings. And he went six innings in three out of those four starts. The only speculation heading into the draft was if he would be able to remain as a starter by solidifying those secondary pitches and filling up the strike zone a bit more, which he showed progress with during his time at Louisville. Dodgers select Bobby Miller. Yeah! <laughs> Bobby would be drafted by the Los Angeles Dodgers with the 29th overall pick in the 2020 MLB draft. His Louisville teammate Reed Detmers would be selected by the Los Angeles Angels 10th overall in the same draft. Here's Bobby talking about his pitch arsenal as well as his comparison to Walker Buehler. Pitch repertoire, like what I'm going through right now, uh, with a four seam, two seam, change up, slider, and curveball. Um, I still got lots to work on with some of those, uh, especially a slider and curveball, getting those as uh, two different shapes. Uh, right now, um, I can do the velocity difference good between them two, but I'm still working on getting those on uh, two separate shapes right now. Dodgers have a guy in their rotation right now who throws 98. Bobby's name is Walker Buehler. You were saying last night he's actually your favorite pitcher in the game right now. What is it about Walker Buehler that really draws you to him? I mean, obviously his stuff is uh, unreal uh, right now, but um, just how electric he, has, he is on the mound, and um, I see a true competitor when I watch him pitch, and uh, everybody loves to watch a true competitor, and uh, how he's got that nice attitude on the mound, and I love to watch that too. And uh, it's kind of what I think I do on the mound myself too. Um, I, I like to be the most competitive guy on the field. And when he's on the mound, there's absolutely no doubt that he's the biggest competitor on the field. It turns out that Bobby was the first college pitcher taken in the first round by the Dodgers since 2015 when they took Walker Buehler out of Vanderbilt. Bobby would be the opening day starter for the Great Lakes Loons in high A for the Dodgers. And at this level, he would go 47 innings pitching to a 1.91 ERA with 56 strikeouts and 11 walks, which equates to a 10.7 Ks per nine and a solid 2.1 walks per nine. He would move up to pitch for the Tulsa Drillers in double A, pitching nine innings to finish out 2021. At the tail end of spring training in 2022, Bobby was able to get a start in Dodger Stadium against the Angels, in which he would strike out Otani, gassing him up at 100 miles an hour. Got him looking with a fastball to 100. Bobby Miller strikes out Shohei Otani <laughs> for his opening act at Dodger Stadium. Bobby started out 2022 by pitching 91 innings for the Tulsa Drillers at AA. He had a 4.45 ERA over these innings with 117 strikeouts to 31 walks, which equates to an 11.6 strikeouts per nine and a 3.1 walks per nine. Right-hander rocks into his motion, the pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out at 99. It was also around this time when Bobby Miller made his appearance in MLB The Show 2022, after which I'm sure sales and gaming controllers skyrocketed, as this was the worst thing to see when loading into a game. During the MLB Midsummer Classic, Bobby, along with two other Dodgers prospects, in catcher Diego Cartaya and infielder Miguel Vargas, were selected to play in the All-Star Futures game. 
And with the game taking place in Dodger Stadium, it was only fitting if Bobby would start off the game on the mound. This is Bobby Miller on the mound, and why not have a Dodgers prospect start our day? Hey, he might have the best stuff of anybody in this game, too. So it, not, not just the Dodger connection, Scott. I mean, I, I saw him in the Arizona Fall League. He was the best pitcher there last offseason. He could sit 97, 98 for innings at a time. I'm sure we're going to see triple digits today. He's got a two-plane slider. He's got a fading, sinking changeup that can be well above average. He's got a curveball. He can cut you four different pitches. And we are underway. 99 paint <laughs> on the outside corner. That looks fun, Yonder. <laughs> no, it, it just reminds me when I look at a guy like this and Bobby Miller, it, it's, it's like a Walker Bueller. You know, the way he kind of goes after it with his delivery. It's nice and easy, and then boom, fire rockets oh, oh. with everything he's got. And he gets to play catch with his future battery mate in Diego Cartaya who is the catcher starting on the National League side. In his one inning of work, Bobby would strike out the side after allowing a leadoff walk to Gunnar Henderson, who would later come around to score. But he'd flash his elite fastball, his above average changeup, his plus plus slider, and of course that looping low 80s curveball. It's pretty memorable. And he strikes out Volpe, who could be a big deal in the majors in the future. Bobby would finish out 2022 in AAA Oklahoma City, where in 21 and a third innings pitched, he had a 3.38 ERA with 28 strikeouts to six walks. That's an 11.8 strikeouts per nine and a 2.5 walks per nine. Swing and a miss, strike three, got it. Balls and two strikes, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, got it. Two balls and two strikes, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, got him. Back to the major league side in just a moment. Swing and a miss. Now heading into the 2023 season, it's clear what the goal is, but it's just a matter of when. You, you talked about trying to stay present and not yeah. think too much in advance, but I have to imagine that's at least in the back of mind. Does that add some motivation for you in the spring? Yeah, of course. I mean, everybody's got that in the back of their mind. That's a big goal is to make it up there and stay there is the most important part. Um, being a contributor to the team, you know. Um, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, um, being where my feet are, doing what the coaches want me to do and trainers want me to do, and, and everything will pan out. The Dodgers rotation heading into 2023 looks something like this with Clayton Kershaw, Julio Arias, and Tony Gonzalez being the workhorses. Dustin May is coming off of his first full season back from Tommy John, and Noah Syndergaard was signed this offseason. There is injury concern with multiple of these names, but even if everyone is fully healthy, I expect Bobby Miller to make his MLB debut at some point in the first month or two of the season. So make sure to keep an eye out for Bobby Miller. Thank you for watching, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll put a link on the right side of the screen to the rest of my player profile series. And if you have a player you'd like me to cover, make sure to comment below. All right, guys, goodbye, Zondi. Don't forget it.